All right, guys, part three is here. Today, we are going to be discussing the amps that John used to record Unlimited Love. Before we get into the amps, guys, I have to quickly mention that the information on the amps used during the recording of Unlimited Love is from the Total Guitar interview with John Frusciante for May 2022. It's an awesome read. You guys really should go and pick it up. Let's get into the amps. As far as amps are concerned for the recording of Unlimited Love, John used the two that he's most heavily associated with, the Silver Jubilee and a Marshall Major. Now, both of these amplifiers, it says, were kind of essentially brought out of retirement and used heavily in the studio pretty much all over and the main sound of Unlimited Love. John Frusciante does go into a little bit of detail in regards to the amps and how they were set up. He mentions that both amplifiers were used in a full stack format in order to just provide a massive wall of sound, especially for a lot of feedback uses and stuff like that. He found having 16 speakers going really key into getting some of those sounds. Now the interview doesn't mention what speaker cabs or even speakers were used during the recording of Unlimited Love, but I think it's pretty safe to say they are going to be those 1960 cabs with Celestian G1275s in them. Now, one thing I got to mention regarding the Silver Jubilees is that during the rehearsal footage we have, we see John actually using a reissue Jubilee, not the vintage one. My buddy Brett actually figured this out and just noticed it and mentioned it to me when we saw this pre-release footage come out. And you can tell because they don't have that little badge in the top left corner. So the amp he was using, at least for rehearsals, is a reissue Jubilee, not a vintage Jubilee. And then on Iron Tom's Instagram story, when they were playing at the Fonda Theater, you could see two backup amps in a rack unit, and one of them was a reissue Jubilee. Now, I'm gonna theorize again, just like the vintage WH-10, that John is using the vintage Jubilee in the studio, and for rehearsals and as a backup amp live, he's using a modern Jubilee. I think that's a new strategy that John Frusciante is really employing this time around, saving some of the more vintage gear like the WH-10 and that Marshall Jubilee for studio use where it's safe and nothing can really happen to it. And then for live usage and kind of backup purposes, something that's easily replaceable, he's gonna use a modern Jubilee as well as a modern WH-10. That's kind of what I'm theorizing is going on and I think that holds up pretty well if I'm honest. Now, John does mention two other amps were used for the making of Unlimited Love, although these amps were used in a very limited capacity, one being a Roland Jazz Chorus and the other being an Ampeg B15. Very minor parts and nothing really key to John's overall sound on the album. I know I've mentioned this already to you guys, but I'm going to mention it again. One of the next videos I have coming out is on John's current live amp rig. I promise you, it's going to be worth the wait. I know you guys have been asking for it but it does feature some tones from my own Marshall 2203 right here in Fawn that you guys see beside me, and it's gonna be worth the wait. I think you guys are really gonna dig that video, so please stay tuned for that when it comes out. Thank you for all the support for all this John Frusciante content I am making. It's been a lot of fun changing gears and making content surrounding one of the other biggest influences for me as a guitar player, John Frusciante, one of my idols. It's an insanely awesome time to be a Chili Peppers and John Frusciante fan. So, making a ton of content for you guys, of course. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.